Be very careful of the advice that you receive from people. So let's go to Matthew 16, 21 through 23. Okay. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. From that time forth began Jesus to shew unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. So this is saying Jesus is telling his disciples the persecution that he has to receive and he has to be killed and everything like that. So pretty much Jesus Christ came here to die for our sins and he is telling his disciples what he have to go through the many bad things that he has to go through okay 22 all right then Peter took him and began to rebuke him saying be it far from thee Lord this shall not be unto thee. So Peter is saying or trying to convince Jesus not to do it. See, that would be the whole purpose for Jesus to come to this earth. Jesus came to teach us and to die for our sins. What Peter is saying, don't do it. Don't die for our sins. Don't go and get persecuted more this is what Peter is saying now what Peter is saying with earthly sense what he is saying is not wrong per se but that beats the whole purpose of why Jesus came down to earth he came to die for our sins now because of that we have the chance to be saved we don't have to live in sin no more when we choose Jesus and follow his rules. But what Peter is saying, don't die for our sins. Now Peter is, Peter don't know what he is saying. He is being compassionate, but he does not know what he is saying. So he is telling Jesus the wrong thing. Does that make any sense? Be careful of the advice that you take. Verse 23. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get, get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art in offense unto me. For thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. So what that is saying, even... Let me not get ahead of myself. <laughs> so this is saying, Jesus turned to Peter and said, Get thee behind me, Satan. Go away. Because it was Satan speaking through Peter, telling Jesus to not die for our sins and get persecuted and stuff like that. What Peter is saying, let me say this. Sometimes the advice that we receive from people may seem right. But Jesus, the Holy Spirit, may have told us to do something else. But other people may come to you and say, hey, you should not do that because this can happen to you that can happen to you this bad thing can happen to you what they are saying is not wrong per se but if Jesus has told you or have told you to do something if the Holy Spirit told you to do something you should do it if you have prayed for something and God have given you the answer to it if another person comes to you and say hey 
You should not be praying about that. You should not be believing in that because this can happen, that can happen, so on and so on. You should not listen to that advice even if it sounds right. It may sound right, but in the end, it is not right. This is why it is important for us to read the Bible. It is important to take heed of the Holy Spirit than the advice of others. Yes, you may love your mother and your father and your brother and your sister and your aunt and cousin and all of those people even your friends, but they can tell you to do the wrong things. Anytime when you get into trouble or anything like that, hold on to what God has told you other than the advice of others, unless you are not hearing from God properly. But if you know that you are hearing from God properly from the Holy Spirit, then hold on to what they are saying, not the advice of others. Because what they may say may sound right, but in the end, it is going to lead you down the wrong path. And then you are going to wish that you did not listen to those people. I'm serious. The same thing with me. The things that people say to me for a certain issue it sounds right, extremely right, but I have prayed to God for something. I told God what I want and what I am asking for does not contradict or go against the rules and regulations of the Bible. So I am believing in faith that it is going to happen or it has happened. Does that make any sense? And here comes these certain people trying to get me to lose my faith in what I already have prayed to God about. That is Satan. Those people may mean well with what they are saying, but look at the timing. I am believing in God for something, but these people are trying to make me lose my faith in what I was praying for. <laughs> you really need to take heed to this because this has happened and is going to continue to happen to you. Even if things look bad, continue to hold on to what you have been praying for, even if other people are telling you what you are believing in, what you are praying for is very silly or it is not going to happen, so on and so on. <laughs> Everyone does not have the same amount of faith as you. So in saying that, why are you going to listen to people who may not be saved in the first place or who have lower faith, lower faith than you? Think about that. Your faith is so small, or their faith is so small, and, and your faith is more than theirs, but they are trying to tell you what is possible and what is not possible. Get out of here. <laughs> Get your small faith out of here. I am not trying to listen to you. Get out of here. Does that make any sense? So hold on to your faith, to what the Holy Spirit has revealed unto you. Now, those people or that person may seem like they are strong in God, but appearances are deceiving. For instance, if you saw me out in the street or something, you know, with this hoodie, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm dressed like this. Would you think that I serve God? Be really serious. Of course not. But let's say that I was wearing a suit 
and a tie and everything like that, you would probably say, well, hey, that person probably serves God because he is wearing a church suit, a tie and stuff like that. Appearances are deceiving. You know, I am wearing this hoodie and these sweatpants and, you know, this thing around my neck. Like, hey, this guy is a hood person right here. <laughs> really think about that. So be careful of the advice that you receive from people. Because everyone does not have the same amount of faith as you. Everyone is not serving God. So why are you going to take the advice from people who are low in faith and don't serve God? Consistently. Think about that. So the devil, as you can see here, the devil can speak through people. The devil can speak through people. Whether you want to believe that or not, and I have read you this passage here, the devil can speak through people. So be careful of the advice that you receive from people. Okay, God bless.